novels. Uh, Tom Clancy, uh, mysteries uh, at the heart, Tom Clancy, of the military community, the intelligence community. People in our newsroom have been saying today what's happening is, is like right out of a Tom Clancy novel. But have you, could you possibly imagine something like this to write about? Now, one of the problems with being a, a writer of fiction is that you can't keep up with all the madmen in the world as much as you're trying. And uh, I, I frankly would have thought that this was not a credible threat to have four separate people decide to commit suicide in the same way on the same morning. Why not? Because uh, ending your own life is not something the average person does. You know, everybody's assuming these are Islamic terrorists. Well, they, if so, they've defiled their own religion. You know, Islam does not permit suicide. It says you go to hell if you do something like this. But we see suicide bombings in uh, in the Middle East and in Israel. And, and Judy, uh, we saw people in Northern Ireland, Catholics acting like savages and Protestants acting like savages. So we have, we have people who call themselves Muslims acting like savages. It happens. It's not because of their religion. It's because they're fools. What does this say now? I mean, you, you've... You've done a lot of reporting. I mean, you not only write fiction, you do a lot of reporting from inside the intelligence community, inside the military community. What does this say about how prepared we are as a country? Well, people always ask that kind of a question when things go wrong. But you don't ask the question when things go right. And the reason is you can't tell when things go right in that business. Well, one of the things I've been saying for a lot of years is that we need to upgrade the human capability, human intelligence capabilities in CIA and our the rest of our intelligence community because you can do a lot with satellites, you can do a lot with eavesdropping techniques, but you can't you, you can't find what's in a person's mind except by talking to that person. And so uh, the agency needs to increase its human its human intelligence capability. The CIA has about twenty thousand employees, less than a thousand of them are actually field intelligence officers. That number should be at least doubled. But but you know, America as a, as a nation doesn't love our intelligence community. And certainly the news media does not love our intelligence community. If, I'm going to interrupt you, Tom Clancy. I'm told Aaron Brown in New York has a development. Aaron? Well, Judy, another, just in the last few seconds, another building, we will speculate carefully here that there was building number seven. One of the buildings uh, in support of the World Trade Center towers has collapsed. Those of you who have been with us for a while, you can see indeed that the smoke color has changed from a, has gotten much lighter. Uh, so we believe that yet another building, this will be the third building, has collapsed, likely building number seven, although we also heard that uh, there were problems at building number five, and it's possible that one went down too. Uh, but again, another building in the Trade Center complex appears now to have caved in after these attacks. Judy? Aaron, uh... We're looking at these pictures of Tom Clancy and I as we sit here in the in the Washington studio. And as I just as I come back to Tom Clancy, I want to read just a portion of a statement issued by uh, Secretary of State Powell, uh, Colin Powell, calling these attacks a terrible tragedy, terrible tragedy befallen not just my nation but all the nations of this region, all the nations of the world, all those who believe in democracy. Tom Clancy, you were saying. Sure, we can ask these questions about failed security, failed intelligence when things go wrong, but we have every right to ask these questions. Well, in the first room, you have a right to say anything you want, but as a practical matter, uh, one of the things we have to do, if you want to prevent things like this from happening, is you build up your defenses, and your first line of defense against terrorism is an intelligence gathering capability. Now, was the last time CNN or the news media in general said, gee, we ought to put more money into the human intelligence capabilities of the CIA? The answer, you never do it. Never. Well, we wouldn't take a side on something like that. Anyway, in terms of what do you fund and... Yeah, we always take a side on saying they failed. Why well, don't help them succeed once in a while? Are you saying that they are significantly underfunded in that area? And it's not just the CIA, but the FBI? Human intelligence is de-emphasized. The FBI's job is... Spying is, is what we're talking is, about. Yeah, and that's what, that's what intelligence officers do, is they spy. And the CIA has 20,000 employees, about 800 of them are actually spooks. Of, and of them, maybe as many as two-thirds actually get outside and do spook operations. And we know that... And we need to do better than that. We need to do more than that. You gather information of this type of putting people out on the street, same way cops gather information from informants. It's not, this isn't rocket but, science. It's just a matter of hiring.
hiring the people let them do the work. But I, I, I'm going to turn it back over to Aaron, but my question is, how do you know what to believe? We had a, an Arab journalist in London just today saying, we had this information a few weeks ago, it was coming, we didn't know whether to believe it. Now back to Aaron in New York. Hey, thank, thank you. We've talked a number of times today about the fact that it is, it is simply too dangerous for officials to get in and around these buildings. It's so very, very dangerous, and the proof of that, uh, just a few moments ago when another building in the complex that is the World Trade Center or was the World Trade Center collapsed. Maureen, we can show you what that looked like. These are taped pictures uh, taken literally just a few moments ago uh, when that building went down. We are seeing them for the first time. This is, uh, correct me in the booth, but I believe that was in fact a, a piece of tape that we got just a bit ago of, a sec of the second plane hitting uh, the South Tower of the Trade Center uh, just a little bit after 9 o'clock this morning. Um, again, uh, a third building at the Trade Center has collapsed within the last three or four minutes. Building number seven, this is no small building as you can see at 47 stories. It would stand out in most American cities. Uh, it looks small, I guess. It, when you look at what was the 100 plus stories of the World Trade Center, but building number seven, it's 40 plus stories, almost 50 stories collapsing as well. And if we can go back to the tape and see it one more time, and I'll look at it with you. Uh, again, this occurred just in the last several moments around the Trade Center building. Seven, 47 stories. Maureen Madden, CNN producer, is in the area. Maureen, what can you tell us? What did you see? Well, about two minutes ago, uh, we had to see Seven World Trade Center go down, which holds the Emer Office of Emergency Management of the City of New York on the 23rd floor there. It, um, what we heard from SC the fire department of NYPD uh, is that the whole south part of the building was engulfed in flames at one point, and it was a matter of time uh, to uh, collapse. They were just waiting for it to collapse, which we've been waiting for about a half hour. When it went down, it was quick, it was quiet, and we saw a lot of smoke come up. And now the smoke has pretty much gone off to the side, going towards the east side of Manhattan. Uh, so unlike the collapse of uh, the first of the towers uh, way back uh, this morning, around 10 or so this morning, and then the second tower was collapsed shortly thereafter, at least, at least where building number seven is concerned, a building that among other things housed the, the emergency response team of the city of New York, at least they had some warning, they had signs that uh, this might happen and they were able to get as many people away from the area. The people in the area, of course, are firefighters, EMS personnel, and, and literally thousands of police officers who have cordoned off uh, the area. Correct. Five we have, for those of you who have been with us uh, throughout the day, we have shown you a 